five pounder here on Buckhorn Lake. There you go, folks. Get him, bud. Get him. You are watching Fish TV. Brought to you by Rapala, crafted from experience. Budweiser Prohibition Brew. All Budweiser, no alcohol. Go RVing Canada. Bring back wildhood. And Cabela's, world's foremost outfitter. With your hosts, Leo Stockos, Ron James, and Jeff Chisholm. It's a five pounder. That's how my dad used to catch them. Got him. Do ya? Oh, nice oh, one too, nice bud. Catch. There you go. Turn us a little bit to the left there, Ronnie. <laughs> Give Jeff your hand there. <laughs> oh, you got him over the rocks. You got him over the arrowhead. He's got it. He's got it. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, bud? <laughs> you got I'm him. Testing out the 832 here. <laughs> oh, man. There you I go. wonder if that's the same fish, bud. I would have to Start. think so. Yeah. So you know what? So we, we got to this area here. It's a little bit windy right now, so we decided to start the show in a little bit of a shallow area. So we're going to start us right now. Hi, and welcome to the show. I'm Leo Stackos. I'm Rod James. I'm Jeff Chisholm. And we are at beautiful Buckhorn Lake, Peterborough and Kawartha area, second to none. Nature, fishing, great resorts. My hometown, man. That's right. It is your hometown. Oh, that's that's right. right. My, uh, that was Jeff's hometown. I lived in Buckhorn. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that's a beauty. Well, I'll tell you what, guys. Start. It's going to be a fantastic day. The clouds are threatening, but we're not sure we're going to get rain. And right yeah. now, we've got fish in the brain. So let's go get them. Let's yeah. catch them. Oh, yeah, boy. Great day. Just our style of fishing. Not the sure. junk slop. <laughs> Love it. Love it for sure. All right. Man, when he hit, I thought he was a duker. <laughs> I, I thought it was a That's three a good and a half. start, though. That's for sure. There we go. That looks like a good one too, bud. There you go. Not bad. You know what? He hit me once. I pitched back in there again. Nice. And he hit me again. Oh, oh yeah, there's a nice, nice. There's a nice three pounder right there, folks. That's a good fish. Now that guy, I was not gonna get off. I missed him the first time. I pitched back in again. Right away, was all over it. You know what I like about this place? Fish? They got over 151 lakes you can catch fish like that in. Oh, I know. <laughs> That's all great. Over the, all over the Peterborough <laughs> and the Kawarthas, 151 <laughs> plus lakes. Yeah. While you're there, you can stop in, do some uh, some caving. There's a lot of things to do here. The Peterborough and the Kawarthas are chock full of great family ideas. They're That's chocked great. full of fishing, and, and you can fish year round. That's the cool thing about the Kawartha areas. Not to mention that there's, there's resorts open all year round. So you can come up here snowmobiling, you can come up here fishing, hunting. You name it, it's here in the Kawarthas. I've done a lot of ice fishing up here. All right, I'll get this guy back in. See you later, fella. I'm sorry, Todd's back. All right. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to pull out a smallmouth out of this dock. That guy's confused. I'm not over the wire. Yes, you are. I'm not. Nice oh, fish, too. Nice fish. <laughs> I told you to come in here, buddy. <laughs> okay, here we go with the all-star here. Yeah. He's exact, oh, yeah. he's barely hooked. Oh. <laughs> nice one, Ron. I said, dude, come Beautiful. in here and do this dock. I've been pitching docks since you were in diapers, bud. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Uh, yeah. There we are. Nice fish, buddy. I tell you, I just love this area. That's a good fish right there. Nothing wrong with that. I'd get a picture of that one, too. There you go, folks. Buckhorn, Kawarthas, Peterborough. Can't go wrong. Got all kinds of these. You can catch those all day, that's for sure. That's just a good one right there. That's what you come to Buckhorn for. <laughs> all right, beautiful. Come on, baby. Away you go. And Gonzo. That's a fish, though. Yeah. You got him this time. Got him this time. He pitched to it, too. Yeah. 
What about fish? There you go, bud. Lots of those. Not a bad fish at all. Nope. There we go. Nice. Love catching these guys in the junk. In the slop. There's a fish. That's a good fish, dude. dude. I'm watching I was you. I'm looking over there. You're That's... watching me, and I'm watching this fish trying to eat that thing. <laughs> I'm like, what? I see the fish with its mouth open, right? I'm Very thinking, nice. what's that fish doing? <laughs> and it's, you've got your jig in its mouth. <laughs> he came toward me, and then I felt the pump, right? Bud, he was like this. I'm looking down, I can see his mouth opening. That's a nice fish. <laughs> good one there, bud. That's a good fish, dude. Nice. Just ate it. That was funny. I'm like, what's that fish doing? <laughs> Beautiful. That is a healthy eating fish right there. Now, this cooler air this morning when we got up, it was really cold. And these fish are warm. Right? So what we're doing now is we're targeting structure like wood and rock, anything that heats up quicker than the main lake. And that's what's holding these fish here because we did some deeper stuff and they're not really holding on it. We tried some smallmouth in the morning, a little bit windy for that. But you know what? The good thing about Buckhorn Lake, here in the Peterborough and the Kawarthas, you always can find fish. That's a beauty fish right there. I'm like, what's this fish doing? He's chasing bait or something. Well, he was coming towards me, so I didn't feel <laughs> it. He's got Leo's jig in his mouth. Oh, see you later. It's now time for the Motor Guy Tip of the Week. Hey folks, Leo Stockos here with the tip of the week. You know, we had a fantastic day today. In fact, way better than we even thought it was gonna be because we had a little bit of a cold front. It actually dropped about eight degrees. I'll tell you what, you gotta figure these fish out. So originally our plan was to go into deep weeds, 10 to 12 feet of water. We fished a whole bunch of different clumps. It didn't work out. So you know what, let the fish tell you where they are. So we started looking around, we went some, to some structure, anything that warmed up quicker. The pads, the slop, the wood, the docks, that was the key. So if you want next time you go out there, you've got to figure out these fish and let the fish tell you how to catch them. Just give me a little bit of sun so I can see the edge. Or so I can see the hole. Right in the hole in the right, weeds. Right, right. Nice. Oh, nice fish yeah. too, bud. Nice. Oh yeah, this beautiful. Fish. Interesting, eh? Yeah. Adjacent to deep water. Yep. That's a nice fish. Makes sense. A duke, man. Makes sense to me. <laughs> Look at that. Very nice. Oh, beautiful. Now, you can't tell me there's only one of them in this. Oh, I know, I know. I've been thinking about that. There's no way. I'm telling you, it doesn't matter here whether you're in cold front conditions. Like, it literally dropped 10 degrees. 10 degrees. And, and this guy's still bit. But it's in an area that's a little bit of a horseshoe. So you got about 13 feet of water, comes up to a weed flat. I pitched in there. He must have come flying out of the weeds. Just phenomenal fishing here in Buckhorn. And the cool thing is, you're like less than two hours away from Toronto. Where can you come get this kind of structure, yeah. this kind of fishing, but out here in Peterborough and the Kawartha areas in Buckhorn Lake? With over 151 of these lakes around here. Ah, ha, great fish. See you later. Oh, yeah, baby, that was awesome. Yep, good one. Yep, good one. You did. <laughs> Oh, dear. Looks like the best looking dock in the place. There he goes. Oh, yeah. 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 That's what we want. He's a Dugan. Oh, yeah. Nice fish. Very nice. Oh, that's a good little fish right there. Right between the boat and the dock. Right where he should be. Yes, sir. I tell you, fishing this slop and junk and docks. Even on cold front, you get good fish like that. That's beauty right there. There he goes. If you didn't want to just come and fish, this, this area alone in the Corthus, they've got everything. They've got snowmobiling trails galore. They've got 
The largest walk in the world is here in Peterborough. That's something to see, folks, I'm telling you. I think that, the, how high does that thing drop? 150 feet, I think. Oh, it is it's it? just unbelievable, the, the, the lock. It's I massive. I bet you didn't know they also had the largest canoe museum. Oh, is that right? Yeah. That's getting to be big time, eh? The kayak fishing and canoes and stuff. Well, they, they're boasting that they have the largest selection of canoes, paddle boats, paddle canoes. You got it. Well, you know, you see all the slop we're fishing in that. These are in back bays. These are great lakes for skiing, tubing. Out front, they're just nice and clear and beautiful. They're warm. I mean, if you want a good vacation, you gotta look at the Quartz of Peterborough area. It's beautiful. I'm just lucky to be living in that area. Portions of Fish TV were brought to you by Mercury. Go boldly. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Got him. Big fish. Smallmouth. Oh, large, large. Nice. I would have swore that would have been a smallmouth, bud. Yeah. Well, there had to be fish here around. There's rock, there's weed. It looks good. It looks great. Yeah. Very nice. These are just that hit like on the way down. Tool. Just a nice fish all together. Beautiful. Good looking fish and a good looking lake. And a good looking guy catching it. <laughs> I don't know about that. Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't take it that far. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. <laughs> yeah. See the gallery didn't like that comment. <laughs> but it was a good looking fish anyway. What'd you say earlier? Negative? Negative. Negative. Yeah, negative. <laughs> Hey, fat guys can catch fish too. <laughs> oh, you got a fish? Look at, look at the osprey with the fish. It's a small mouth. Look at it, Ron. Oh, that's cool. Smalley. Oh, oh, nice smalley too. Good one. Nice smalley. Anybody with him? I don't know. Right on the edge of that rock. Right on the edge of that weed. It's right there. Yeah, rock and weed there, right beside there. Look at how brown this one is, bud. Oh, he's sitting by the weed. Oh. Nice. Yes. Smallmouth, largemouth. Like I said, there's bigger smallmouth in here. Yep. That's a good little smallie. Just ate it. Look at the colors on that. Look at the bars on that fish. There you go. Right around the rock and weed. Smallies love rock and weed. Well, don't be surprised if we get a largemouth here as well, Ron. Exactly. You never know. Thanks. Thanks for the fight. See you later. Was it just like a spongy feeling? Yeah. It was just lift up and I felt boom, boom. It's now time for the Fish TV Tackle Box. Okay, guys, let's take a minute of the action and show you exactly what we're using today. I'll tell you what, when you come to the Kawartha, Buckhorn Lake, Peterborough area, you're gonna wanna bring a flipping stick for sure. This is a 7.9 concept, medium heavy action rod. This is particularly real, is an R-type reel. I have 65 pound braid. When you're fishing that heavy cover, you wanna get those fish out. Simple flipping jig with a weed guard on it and a trailer, works really well. You're also gonna need yourself a Terminator frog. Over those pads and that, that real thick slop, this thing works really well. You also wanna throw it on a same type of rod, a medium heavy or a heavy action rod. Concept is a really good rod. And this particular reel is a concept reel. When you come up to Beechwood area in, in lower Buckhorn area, make sure you look up Jack. Jack will put you on these fish. You can go to our website, fishtv.tv. We'll give you all the information that you need to come to the Buckhorn, the Kawartha Lakes, and the Peterborough area. We've got it all right there on our website. Let's get back to that Fish TV action. No matter to me, but I don't. I, I don't think there's any fish in this clear water. But there's one right there. <laughs> I just had one too. There's one. Oh, I think there is fish. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe there is fish in this clear. Oh, water. that's a good one, bud. I don't think there's any fish in this clear water. I just. Uh, <laughs> you need double. You need double yeah. up. Yeah. Look at this. Maybe we should fish in clear water. Fish in here. Look at this. That's a nice fish. <laughs> double up. <laughs> 
So we know that they're in isolated paths because there's nowhere else to be. Oh, I think man. maybe we should go in. <laughs> so Ron just finished saying, I said, what do you want to do? You want to go in, you want to go out? He goes, I don't know, but I don't think there's any fish in this clear water. Not two oh, seconds one. later. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of clear water fishing in shallow water, but now I am. All right, I think we should For give a this bit. a little bit more of a shot yeah. and see what happens. Well, I threw my jig in there just after I said that. The thing almost came right out of the water to hit it. Got it. Had to do the other one. I figured it. You think he moved? Yeah. Oh, I know he did. I watched him. Hey, right in those pads. That was no mistake. Oh, look at this. He went from that pad bed right out in front to that one right there. I missed him the first time. I didn't even miss him the second time though. I just and I just had a boil there. I tell you, when you come to the Kawarthas, you get 100,000 of these. That's just a baby. Buckhorn Lake, baby, Buckhorn Lake. There you go. What'd you get out on a frog? Yeah. I look like a good boil. I thought it was bigger than that. Oh, so did I. <laughs> I thought it was a cow. I killed my arm. Nothing wrong with that, though. No. Nope. Nothing that. wrong with that at all. First cast. Look at the salad on it. Just goes to show you, man. You know what? You come up here in Buckhorn, and I'll tell you what. The scenery, the wildlife, the people, the largemouth. It's everything up here in Buckhorn Lake. You got to get up here and give it a shot. The resorts are incredible up here. Just having a blast so far. Oh, I thought it was a rock bass. <laughs> got him on the top of I the head. I got him on the top of the head. I've never seen that before. Look at that, bud. On the top of the head. Look at that little guy. Yeah. He hit it on the side of the dock. I cashed it back in under the dock, and he came and turned on it and got it on the top of the head. That is crazy. Now I've seen everything. I hit it. I don't want to touch the troll motor. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the fish. I got him. Look at, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> nice save, Jeffrey. Oh, man, that was funny. <laughs> a little bit. Thing. Where's the five? You got the seven incher. Where's the five incher? <laughs> yeah, incher. I'll wake you up with this one. Just finished tying that jig on. Oh, look, he's got it in the salad. Decent fish. Top the head again. Come on. <laughs> top the head. Seriously? <laughs> That's funny. Real's got one at the top of the head. I got one at the top of the head. Whoa. I think we got some fish in this area. Look at how fat that little fish is, boys. Yeah, they're, eat, they're eating well here. Yeah. Buckhorn Lake, baby. Yeah, yeah. Buckhorn, all these lakes up here are just great. Filled with weeds and pads, slop. As you can tell, this is what we're fishing right here. These pads and slop out here. Lots of them. Makes a mess of the lund, I'll tell you that. But it's worth it, especially when you hook a five. That's oh, here we go. really fun. Oh, Jeffy. Oh, you lost it. Not a boy. Nice one. There we go. Good fish. Good fish. There we go. Oh, yeah. oh nice <laughs> fish. Five pounder, bud. There we go. Very oh, nice. Oh, you got a big one. <laughs> that is a great one. There you go. Oh, my yes, God. Yes, sir. Look at that. Nothing wrong with that one right there. That one. Oh, look at <laughs> this. That a boy. That's a nice Good fish. four and a half, five pounder. <laughs> if you saw where I put that in there, 
all day long I was waiting for this fish, buddy, right here. <laughs> no doubt. That's the way to do her. Oh, man. That's the Buckhorn, way to wrap her up. Buckhorn Lake, <laughs> it rocks. That's all I can say. Oh, man. Look nice. at the gut on that thing right there. That's a beauty fish right there. Very nice. I'll tell you what, but wow. I put that right into the crack between oh, the nice boat fish. and the dock, and all yeah. of a sudden I felt punk. Yeah. All day long, look at that gut on that thing That's right there. That's a nice there. fish right there. Five pounder here on Buckhorn Lake. I gotta tell you guys, yeah. you have to get out here. Buckhorn has so much to offer between the scenery, the food, the resorts, the fishing, yeah. the friendship, the camaraderie. It's excellent. You know, uh, Beachwood's a great place. Absolutely. You know oh, what, guys? Really. We gotta do this again. Until next week, I'm Leo Stakos. I'm Rod Jake. I'm Jeff Chisholm. We'll see you next time on Fish TV. Bye-bye, everyone. I'm gonna put this guy in the live walk for a little bit, bud, for a picture. Ooh, nice one. Oh, that was a nice fish. Stole right my there. fish again, eh? Ah, no, no. You you stepped in the trolling water. Well, I thought we were leaving, sure but now we're not. We're going, we're going back in. Fish TV was brought to you by Lund, the ultimate fishing experience.